first par five then, the fifth hole, it's called long, but really for today's uh, top pros, it's not that long, 530 yards. They'll be eyeing this up as a real good birdie chance. The key for them here is avoiding the bunkers on the right, but also staying out of the gorse on the left. I think players, because of the shape of the hole, will probably be wanting to try and sling one around the corner a little bit. So they've just got to make sure they get it on the right line before it starts turning. This is the problem if you overdo it down the left on the fifth, you end up in this area here where the gorse is. Now even if you're lucky like I am to actually not go in the gorse, which will probably cost you a penalty drop, you're still in the wrong position really because the green is doglegging round to the left there and you can't actually see it from here. There are also a couple of bunkers short of the green at sort of 70 and 50 yards that just prey on your mind a little as you work out where best to lay up. Uh, so the ideal place here is not down the left. You can't be right either because of the bunkers, so it's a fair way, again, you simply have to find. The fifth green is an interesting one. There's uh, lots of shelves and layers on this green and there's plenty of scope here for some interesting pin positions. I'm on a, a top shelf here at the back which I'm sure will be used one day. Where the pin is today I think it's possibly one of the easier ones, a flatter part, a lower level. And it may be that the front right pin position is one of the toughest ones here, over there. There are also two bunkers to avoid, one short right of the green and one in the middle on the left here as you can see and everywhere around the green if you just get it slightly wrong the ball's going to gather away and run off down the slopes.